Hello everyone, my name is Felix. Welcome to Global Air Learning. We are here to share and learn interesting stuff and make friends with other kids. If you want to be the speaker or participate in any team work of this program, please register as a member on our website. The link to the website is on this slide. You can also scan the QR code on the slide to contact us by WeChat. There will be a comic art class by Claire. It is from March 12th to April 13th from 4 to 5 p.m. And it is on every Saturday. And I hope you'll join us. Okay, so now today's presentation topic is 3D printing. We're really happy to have Isabella present to us. 3D printing, the amazing world of printers that print 3D objects. What is 3D printing? 3D printing is almost like a kind of art, except most of the time, it's not done by a human. It's done by a 3D printer. A 3D printer works like a normal printer with different material. A 3D printer prints by extruding molten plastic out of a nozzle attached to an arm on the printer. The history of 3D printing. Engineer Chuck Ho invented 3D printing in 1984. The first thing ever 3D printed was a small cup that could serve as an eye wash. 3D printing was originally invented to create prototypes for testing. The process of 3D printing. Number one. Attach the material. The most commonly used material is plastic, and it comes on a roll like this. Number two, download or create a model. Number three, adjust the size. Number four, wait while the printer heats up. Number five, it'll print. Here's a little video. So this is an app called Tinkercad, and then you can see I can I've already built many things. You can the anything really with the shapes. So then we just tap on the shape, click on anywhere in the workspace, and stare. You can also stack shapes like using the black cone there. Move it there. Bring that down. Bring it up. And then we'll check for problems. That's the video. So during the video, our 3D printer was printing a ring in case you couldn't tell with the support and it was upside down. The process of 3D printing continued. You can design your own model or download from the internet. My favorite place to download models is a place called Thingiverse and it has models of really anything and you print the 3D model with a 3D printer app. Steps to work on Tinkercad. Number one, search Tinkercad on Google and join. Number two, click create new design. Number three, start building your model on the work plane using the shapes. Here are some basic shapes, but there's like a whole library of other shapes. And then some of them even I haven't used yet. More about Tinkercad. Tinkercad is so fun. I use it to create models of my own, which my dad later prints. Here are some pictures on uh, what you can do on Tinkercad. This is a little block, which I'm gonna turn to a keychain. It's not complete yet. And here's just a random workspace. There's a boat. Hannah, my little sister's name is written here. There's a sea star and a dog house. What can and cannot be 3D printed. 3D printers can't print with wood, cloth, paper, or rocks because they would burn before they could be melted and extruded through the nozzle. You can actually print with precious metals such as gold, silver, bronze, and platinum. Oh, and Amy has a question. Yes, Amy. I um I actually use something like this in Code Ninjas. If you can go here, I actually 
um, I actually stopped it, and and Cadence is still there. When I was there, Cadence was there, so I actually did this too, and we actually had a three D printer there. That's awesome. Cool. So that's a connection. Rebecca, did you have your hand up? Oh, okay. Thanks, Amy. All right. So down here, believe it or not, this is a three D printed house that people can actually live in. You can see the walls are three D printed, and so is the basic design. And down here is a 3D printed tool. You can see it says 3D printed here. Do all prints come out in one piece? No, actually, quite a lot of prints have parts you have to assemble. So here's a caterpillar print on Thingiverse. You can see it has a head that takes nine minutes, a torso that takes 13 minutes, and a bottom that also takes 13 minutes. This print can actually get very long, just as long as you print more parts. Are 3D printers noisy? Some of them. Every printer will make noise, but the amount of noise it makes depends on the printer. A 3D printer makes noise because some of its components make noise while working. Where to buy a 3D printer and how much it costs? Amazon, Best Buy, Walmart, and many other places sell 3D printers. A 3D printer costs ranges from $300 to over $1 million. My creating list. Number one, me as a block person. Number two, a block chicken. You can see I've already designed that on Tinkercad. It's right here. And there's an egg behind it. Number three, a road to go with a chicken. Number four, a phone. Number five, a house with a door that can open. Number six, an interesting shoe. Number seven, a silly animal. Number eight, fake food. Number nine, jewelry. You can see I've designed a ring here. That's the exact same thing I printed. And number 10, a special car. Conclusion. 3D printers are amazing and fascinating. They can do really cool things. I hope I inspired you to get a 3D printer and do some 3D printing. I hope you like my presentation. Thank you, Isabella. Now, Felix, our host, will tell us what's next. Now it's vocabulary time. Nana will read the vocabulary words. Let's hear from Niana what our first vocabulary word is. Material. A thing that a 3D printer print with e.g. plastic. Extrude. To thrust or force down. Molten. Melted or turned into liquid. Nozzle. A round sp spout at the end of a pipe, hose, or tube used to control a jet of gas or liquid. Prototype. A first model of something, especially a machine, from which other forms are developed or copied. Atina. A precious silver or white metal. The next word is component. A part of a larger whole, especially a part of a machine. Now it's time for two questions. I'll hand it over to Lucas. So Lucas is going to read our first question. What do you want to quit if you have a... 3D printer. Ooh, friends, I know you have amazing ideas about this. What do you, what would you create if you had a 3D printer? It could be more than one idea. Jade. Because I really like the book series Indie Fire, I thought I would probably print a dragon out and then probably assemble it because I like dragons. And I know this one's not 3D printed, but I want to print something like this one. So. Ooh, so you have an example that you would want to create that. Yeah. based on a book you like series. Wonderful, Jade. Elvin, what about you? I would just like to make a stand for something, I guess. Oh, okay. A stand for something. Excellent. Niana. And since I really like figure skate, I might um, print a model of a figure skate. And I might um, print, like, um, probably like a, no, like a, um, probably print the dragon to be exact. Oh, okay, cool. What about you, Emma? Probably a dolphin or something else that's useful, maybe. Oh, okay. Such creative <laughs> ideas. And Jessica put a duck or a dragon. <laughs> Jessica, do you want to unmute and tell us perhaps what motivated you to pick those ideas? I really like ducks, and um, I think dragons might be really detailed. Oh, wonderful. And Jay put, you can run a business selling these things. Uh, let's see, here's some more ideas. Felix. 
I think I could maybe print out a, like a three like a chess board. I don't know or chess pieces or maybe also like a um a trophy or like a medal. I don't know in case like let's say we can do like a competition if anyone if like me and my sister if anyone wins I can give them like the trophy or, or the medal that I printed out. Ooh, so many possibilities. Lucas, would you like to unmute and tell us what you typed in the chat? Dragonfly. Ooh, Lucas wants to create a dragonfly. Let's go to our next question that Lucas will ask. What do you think 3D printers will be like in the few years? Ooh, does anyone have any ideas? What will 3D printers be like in a few years? Lucas wants to, is wondering. Jay. I agree with you, Jade. I was so shocked to learn they could even print houses so far. Elvin. So like with the printing houses, like you can, it's not really like printing the whole house. They like some people, they do it in different parts and then they put them together. Oh, I wonder how they connect those different pieces. Isabella, how do they connect those different pieces of the house or is it all one piece? I actually don't know, but I think there are two possibilities. One is they just print the entire house with a very big 3D printer called a construction printer. Another possibility is they print parts of the house. Like I bet I think most, most all of you have seen a house under construction. My guess is that they print those construction pieces and put them together. Ooh, thank you, Isabella. And Amy, can you tell us about what you typed in the chat? I would. It would be a sphere that can actually roll around so it can take your 3D. So it was like a sphere, sphere, like a ball. And uh, in front, it'll, um, this little slot open so it can just put your uh, thing so you can like, it'll roll after you. It'll Ooh. roll after you and you can actually um, turn it off so you, so you don't, uh, so, so if you want to go on a vacation, you don't want to uh, bring your 3D printer, you could just turn it off. Ooh, fantastic, Amy. Thank you. So now we will go back to Felix, our host. Thank you, Isabella, for your amazing presentation on 3D printing. Felix will tell us what's next, friend. Also, I'm signing off before Kahoot, but you have fun. Thank you, Tia Tanya. Now it's Kahoot time. <laughs> Thank you.